In this video, we're taking a closer look at this trim. This cow had a seriously badly infected white line defect. It was covered in dermatitis and we wrapped it all up. We're back just six days later to reveal how it's doing now. So in a video I posted last week, we really went to town on this cow's foot by cleaning it completely and as thoroughly as we possibly could. We then went on to trim it and we found some horrific problems. She had what's known as a white line defect on the axial wall of her inside claw. And as you're just about to see, it got pretty graphic and pretty gruesome pretty quickly. The reason we decided to video this particular foot is because she was the first one out of this herd trim that was showing any signs of lameness. And when I say any signs, I mean she was seriously lame indeed, and it's not hard to see why. Once we'd trimmed both of our toes back to the right length and made sure that the soles were completely level, we moved on to dealing with the issue itself. We needed to remove all of the loose and disconnected horn, and as you can see, it was a pretty hazardous job indeed. That infection, the open wound that you can see, was vast, and on cow's feet like this, you're never quite sure if it completely undermines the whole of the sole or not. As we pull the knife out and begin to peel back the layers of horn, we uncover a huge problem that is completely covered in digital dermatitis. I don't need to say that this is sore, you can just tell by looking how painful this must be for the cow, but it's also extremely satisfying for me. Peeling back the layers of detached horn with my hoof knife really gives you a sense of satisfaction in the knowledge that you're going to make this cow much more comfortable than she has been in the previous days and weeks. Perseverance with cows like this is absolutely crucial if you ever want to truly make a substantial difference. So we took our time and made sure that we did the best job we possibly could. We bovie bonded on a block and then we sprayed the whole lesion with oxytetracycline to try to attack the digital dermatitis before wrapping it with salicylic acid. The aim of the salicylic acid is to kill all of the outer layers of exposed flesh and thereby also kill the digital dermatitis and allow new, fresh and healthy skin to form underneath. Anyway, we let her go and she was walking fairly well, but we were keen to get back. We're back. Let's see how she is now. So it's six days later and just like the boy said, we're back. I'm not expecting miracles here, but I'm pretty confident I did a good job of the initial trim and the salicylic acid will hopefully have done its thing and killed that digital dermatitis. But nothing is a certainty in cases like this, and there could just as easily have been no progress whatsoever. We can still clearly see the remains of the salicylic acid and the oxytetracycline, so we give it a good wash so we can get a real close look at how the lesion itself is doing. As I'm looking at the foot, I can't help but think I can get a more even and flat surface, so I can't resist shaving off the excess hoof horn. And as you can see, this lesion is really beginning to clear up. It's clearly not healed completely. It's far from it in fact, and this cow will need a few more visits. So we take the knife out once again and make sure that all of the little raggedy pieces of horn that are disconnected are removed so that she gets the best possible chance of a full recovery. And it's not often you see me do this, but we are going to wrap this. There's a bit of story about just now where these cows are because they're eating a pure grass diet, so they're really loose. So we need to make sure this repoderma stays in place and does its job. You know, these videos, they're fantastic for documenting the progress and the likelihood of cows completely healing from certain diseases of the foot. And that's partly why I enjoy making them. I also enjoy seeing the difference we can radically make to some of these cows, sometimes very quickly indeed. That is all for this video. Thanks very much indeed for watching guys. 
Catch you later.